Perhaps I would just uh, refresh our minds what we, we heard during these two days. We started yesterday uh, with polyhydroxyalkanoates and then, then moved on through some very interesting uh, state-of-the-art, I would say cutting-edge science uh, lectures on a very broad field of topics all relating to biomaterials, biopolymers, bioplastics. Uh, and I hope that that gave a good idea of what is happening currently in the development in this area, what the potentials are, what to expect in the future, to be honest. Uh, then we had a presentation of the Plastice um, uh, project particularly focusing on the results. These results um, were number one presented, but they are available. Pretty much everything that we've done within the project is available. Uh, you can contact the people involved. You can contact me or the others. Uh, uh, so this is something that, although the project is finishing, is not really ended. And I, I wish to see it uh, go on Further. So, if there's any uh, ideas about that, just pre please, please uh, contact the right people. Um, after that, we, we moved on to a more international um, frame. Uh, within the Plastice Conference uh, project, we had four countries involved, but as it was going on, we included more and more contacts. So, we yesterday could hear uh, about this global view by Professor Miertus, and then we had representatives from Egypt, Ukraine, and the Czech Republic present the situations in their countries. Today we move to a more practical, uh, I would say, use and application oriented uh, section of this whole story. So we heard something about the soft softer elements that uh, scientists and technologists very often forget about or we don't have the right competences in. And I think it's only right that we're reminded to keep these in mind, especially when we start talking about <coughs> applications, commercialization, or even talking to the industry. In my personal opinion, uh, uh, even if we do not do these things, if we don't think about marketing and so on, it's very important for the time when we're discussing with the industry or with proper users to understand what their challenges are. That they have to think about marketing, about costs and so on. Uh, and we have to keep that in mind, not just uh, tell them all the time what great materials we have and that we can actually make them. That's not enough. We have to, in a discussion like that, to be successful, understand what they are facing and then we'll have a much better relationship. Um, so we've heard about that. We had a great example of a current industrial development material uh, that's coming on the market, uh, uh, composite with cellulose fibers. Uh, and then we moved to the uh, processing of PLA, a material that's uh, very uh, widely used, very popular, but still not trivial to uh, process and that has to be kept in mind. Then a presentation about another interesting uh, material, a barrier material that's biodegradable and bio-based, uh, protein-based in fact, uh, that is entering I think in a, into a crucial uh, commercialization phase and I hope it will succeed in the market. It certainly appeared at the right time. Uh, and then we moved on to the waste management as it relates to uh, biodegradable plastics, the collection and the processing. Uh, and finally, we heard something about the college itself. So I think we've done a, a nice tour all together. Uh, I have to say I, I'm very pleased that we managed to uh, keep the attention of the audience uh, and keep some sort of dynamics going on uh, because I don't see anybody sleeping, which is very nice. <laughs> and I still see some people in here. Um, so that, that's pretty much all from my side. I have to say I'm very, very 
uh, happy that we managed to carry it out. Combine it with the summer school as well. I, I think this is a great added value. I hope that for the students, uh, some of this has also been interesting. So you can see uh, what, what we're doing. Uh, we're not students, but we do something very similar and very much related to what you are doing uh, through this week. So it's not just for your purposes. We also do it all the time. Um, I would invite any, any comments, any possible comments or uh, conclusions if uh, anybody would wish to share thoughts. I don't know, Ivan, you're, you're a very experienced person, perhaps. <laughs> if I challenge you <laughs> directly. I was directly asked to, or even appointed to st stand up and say a few words, but uh, frankly speaking, I don't know what to say because, of course, uh, I was very happy to be here. Uh, we continued with the uh, with, uh, Plastic Project. I met some people who I really like to meet. Uh, I heard uh, something new. I said, uh, said something first. <laughs> A little bit new. Uh, I met the people I like. Uh, the conference itself was really, uh, in my view, was very good. And thanks to Andre and uh, his staff, of course, because uh, it is said that the conference, uh, the professors, uh, they should only decrease the activation energy, but the real work must be done by someone else. That means. Andre, uh, you are decreasing the light catalyzer, and uh, the uh, Petra, Natasha, and uh, Moitza, they made uh, the work. Uh, anyway, I think uh, I only regret that the plastic project is uh, at the end, but uh, perhaps we will, uh, hopefully, we will have some other projects and we can continue with a uh, meeting with uh, uh, some. Uh, well, discussions and uh, continuing with this work we, we start with uh, within the project. Uh, thank you very much for organizing conference, inviting us all, and making us feel to feel very, very happy and very uh, pleasant. Thank you. So, thanks, Ivan, for these uh, nice words. Any any comment anybody would like to say? Uh, I, I have to say I have only one regret, uh, and that is that we wish to. Uh, get more companies to uh, join our conference because I think it would be also interesting for them. But uh, on the other hand, I'm not terribly worried about it because you've seen that we had cameras in the lecture room all the time. So all the presentations are in fact on video and they will be put online. I hope the quality will be good so we can put it online and then available to anybody, students, uh, uh, professionals, companies, whoever, whenever, and from wherever. So uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to that, that we can still, in a very passive way, continue distributing the knowledge that was shared during these two days. Um, as Ivan said, I, I have the uh, role of keeping the lid on things normally. Uh, but truly, uh, if it were only depending on me, we would not have a conference here. I have to really thank my, my excellent co-workers. Uh, I don't know where uh, everybody is right now. Natasha, <laughs> please stand up. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Petra. Where is Petra? <laughs> where is Moitza? Okay, Peter and uh, Moitza obviously <laughs> had enough, so they had to go out. But I have to re really stress that without my team, uh, we would have no speakers, no conference, no nothing. <laughs> I could possibly give one lecture and that's that. Um, I would also like to thank uh, the uh, Polymer Technology College for their hospitality. Um, we, will, we will gladly come back and I think that everybody else as well. Uh, I would like to thank also all the speakers uh, that we've had the chance to listen to uh, yesterday and today. Some have already left, but I think you've really contributed greatly to this conference and I hope to the information that was available. I would like to uh, thank 
some of you that really had to travel from far away, uh, particularly Professor Kanavi uh, and our representative from uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, you've come, I think, the farthest, and, and we really appreciate that you could come and share your thoughts and uh, join us in these discussions and uh, work. Petra is here. I was talking with Petra. Petra is the number one person uh, responsible for the conference. That's her. I think she must be. <laughs> she must be incredibly tired by now, but she will probably recuperate. Although for the students, I think you still get a lecture from her tomorrow. Uh, okay. I, I'm known to talk too much, and I will now finish. I will self-terminate uh, myself. Thank you very much. I enjoyed the conference, and I hope you did too.